Welcome to the next episode of the V2 series. In between episodes, I swapped the least screw and did another test blueprint, so let's take a look at the results. For starters, this is the old one. You can see some uh, horizontal lines here. And at first glance to me, it looks like they're repeating on a 2mm pattern. You can see that you can still see the layer lines, obviously, but uh, maybe if I hold like this, the problem is the camera. You can see it in in your naked eye, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to show it. The two millimeter lines are now gone, but anyway, you can see that swapping the lead screw uh, fixed a lot of the uh, lines, and yeah, the bed adhesion is fixed now too. I'm printing the last uh, Banshee print, or at least hopefully last Banshee print before we move on to something else other than just print tuning. Again, I'm not going, planning to spend too much time on just tuning the print in this video. Obviously, since that's probably something you already know anyway. But uh, the plan was after this, I would move on to some getting interesting data from the ADXL 345 accelerometer. Uh, there is another priority. I'm just sick of this thing spitting out the front door, the VHB tape we use, yeah, it's not holding this at all. I had similar issues on my V2 and as a result, I don't know if you watched the V2 episodes or not, but as a result I switched to screwed uh, uh, panels for that. So uh, yeah, that's definitely going to be the next thing. Okay, I, it's been a few days and I uh, recalibrated the firmware again and uh, again it's finally working and this is my first print from the printer. I took it out already before but yeah I inspected it, it looks pretty decent so this is my first, well quote unquote first print at least with this firmware not with this printer and well it looks pretty decent. I sh I will do a few more uh, calibration things in between, but uh, in a later video on the channel, I will do the ADXL345 accelerometer testing and tuning. I was planning on doing it earlier, but uh, my SKR died on my V2 and the Pi, the SD card on the Pi died on this. So uh, yeah, I had to redo this entirely, and I'm. Um, I just received my SKR yesterday for the V2, so uh, yeah, that kind of delayed it, but uh, again, it's coming. And the ADXL345 accelerometer, uh, someone asked before, so I should probably explain. It will measure the resonances from the movements of the tool head, and the wavy marks you see on prints, uh, the clipper's input shaper is used to get rid of those. You don't have to use an accelerometer to do the testing. 
you can just use a test print but the, with the accelerometer one you can uh, get access to some interesting data and two uh, it, theoretically at least it should be do a better job than just uh, looking at the print so again for both the v2 and the v0 that testing will be coming pretty soon and also in the next episode of the v2 we're going to uh, mount a raspberry pi camera so you can see that i actually printed and mounted the mount here so the pi camera will just go on here and the reason i'm not doing it in this episode is because uh, i need a special extra long ribbon that i don't have a source for just yet either that or some way of extending the ribbon cable so uh, yeah that's what i'm waiting for so yeah that should be in the next episode so it will run from here down through this uh, little slot in the deck panel and into the raspberry pi in here it's behind this oled screen and well actually somehow i forgot to talk about this so uh, yeah you can see that i have an oled screen here uh the buttons themselves don't work at the moment i'm still working on configuring this also well when i said buttons i refer to the ones on the oled p module but also these buttons also aren't uh, configured just yet but uh yeah they should just work as well it's just about the configuration so uh yeah you can see that this oled screen works perfectly for the v0 so uh, yeah i think i will release this mod as well with the buttons and probably a version without the buttons as well and this is a wave share OLED module it's 1.3 inches so it's pretty small but that's what you need for a V0 and you can see that it barely works which is what's ideal and yeah it also houses the Raspberry Pi Zero behind it so it's also a, a compact way of mounting your Pi Zero so that's also nice I just need to do a slight modification to the design to uh, fix this bulging issue. This is because of the micro USB ports on the uh, Pi Zero. So I'm just going to turn that into a cutout so that doesn't happen anymore. But other than that, this mod should work perfectly fine. Also, uh, another mod that I did, and again, I forgot to mention, you can see that there is now a slightly larger gap from the bottom of the printer to the skirt and that's thanks to this uh, feet mode I was planning on designing these myself and I'm printing them so that I would have a little mo more clearance for the electronics and the wiring down there but turns out uh, I think Hard K is the one who did it but uh, yeah anyway I'll link it wherever it is and yeah it's just a simple mode it just extends the feet a little longer and yeah it works uh, just as well now, uh, unfortunately, I don't think I will be able to show you that, but behind here, behind the LCD, there is also the Raspberry Pi Zero. So I got rid of the Duet Zero mount, and the only reason is it's basically the same form factor, so it fitted there, so I might as well clean some of the cable clutter here. And yeah, as you can see, there is a decent amount as usual. I grabbed the GPIO pins from the Raspberry Pi with this IDE style cable. I'm not sure if this is exactly IDE or not. I don't know. I don't remember how many pins there were back in the day. But uh, yeah, it's the same style anyway. And it doesn't have the pin blocked like IDE. But uh, anyway, yeah, I grabbed that like that. I wired the camera ribbon to the Raspberry Pi in here. It's right now sitting, well, just sitting here, not connected to anything, but I do have a plan for the camera now. And uh, yeah, from the ribbon, which I hot glued onto the power supply, because, well, yeah, this whole thing is a mess, and that's basically the uh, most uh, easy way of uh, mounting this cable flat. I, I couldn't feed the zip tie through anywhere. So uh, yeah, it's also hiding some of the mess behind that as well. So uh, yeah, it's actually working pretty, pretty nicely. Routed the IDE here and connected the buttons. These are all for the buttons here. So uh, yeah, I have eight buttons in total in the front. 
so yeah and uh, also connected other connectors here which go through this umbilical cord uh, up through the to the hot end and there it will connect to the ADX L345 accelerometer and uh, yeah I guess that's all for now I hope you enjoyed this episode of the War 10 series if you did please leave me a like down below and thanks for watching